have you ever heard of fentanyl poisoning? It's often thought of in the same light as drug overdoses, but that is not the case. Thousands die every year in the U.S. from taking drugs that are laced with fentanyl, and it has people in Kentucky coming together to bring awareness to the issue. LEX 18's Evan Leake spoke with three mothers who lost their sons to fentanyl poisoning. Tracy's son Colin. He, he was so smart and he was fun to He was always a prankster and people, he was a joy to be around and he cared about people. Linda's son Michael. Michael would give anybody the shirt off his back. Michael would invite people into his room. He would bring them in through the window and let them stay so they didn't have to sleep on the street. Living only through pictures and a mother's memory. That's the case for every face you see in this lawn at the steps of the Capitol. A captive audience watching their loved ones cry out for change. It's scary and that's one of the reasons why I'm here and that's one of the reasons why that I'm so involved in this movement. Moving toward more awareness for fentanyl poisoning, a fate that claimed more than 107,000 lives last year alone, including Angela Parkerson's son Nick. He was 24 years old. He was poisoned to death by half a fentanyl pill. I always tell people he's the best person I ever knew because he was just a pure good heart. After Nick's death, Angela felt she was living the same day over and over, consumed by the same questions, feeling like no one cared. So she decided she'd be the one to care okay. for herself and for others. I bought 600 shirts. I was going to donate them all to a recovery center. And then I met other moms. And I was like, wouldn't it be cool to send one to every state in the nation? Angela's efforts are bringing people together and bringing attention to the dangers of fentanyl poisoning in support, in admiration, in honor of those it's too late to save. Don't think it can't happen to you and please pay attention because I don't want you to find out about fentanyl like I did because your kid is dead. They understand what we're going through. We can be completely honest with our brothers and sisters here. It's a beautiful thing to be um, connected with these people because we understand the loss and it's a loss that you don't get over. It's a loss that affects you for the rest of your life. In Frankfurt, Evan Leek, LEX 18 News.